Man, my 60 gang. It's your boy Doug. July 17th, 2024. Good morning to those who woke up today. Happy birthday to those who woke up today. And my condolences go out to those who did not. We're out in Greensboro, Georgia this morning. Go look at a GE washer. We've got 60 gang member. What is her name again? Her name is Georgia. Georgia LeQuint. How you doing, Georgia? Thank you for joining 60 Gang. Remember, you guys can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's at lowercase Douglas1S Monroe at 5809. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, like and subscribe to my Facebook channel. Much appreciated. So, right now, I'm going to take you guys for a little ride in Greensboro as we approach Mrs. Uh, LeQuint's home. I won't be showing her home, but give you guys a view of what Greensboro, Georgia looked like. Here we go. It looks like they're building in the Flying J gas station here. Some uh, electric car power station is being built at the Flying J. I believe that's what they're doing here. Down this way, we're looking for a street called Cato Road, which is 1.4 miles down. We're gonna make a left on Cato. to Brick House Road. What the name? See the Brick House. See my my that don't let it all hang up.
trailer. for sale. It's got a lake, a lake view. And all this is for sale. Property plan. Basically, you buy your piece of land and build on it. That's what it looks like. Now we're making a left on a brick house. Road. Fountains, um, I mean wells, water wells. So I don't under, it's not de developed. You have to develop this land yourself, I imagine, because I see a lot of well, water wells. People living deep in there. Yes, they live back there. Do I go to the right or do I go to the left? It says 1280, but then this road splits left and then right. Yeah, I live in some of the strangest places. This is your boy Doug. I'll be back. So, Georgia Chopin's washer turns out to be a diagnostic for unstable uh, tub and her washer is a stand up upright top motor and it's unstable and I have to put in an estimate for some parts and later uh, with the contract I have with this company in Delaware that she pays every month. I can't just fix it, I have to submit an estimate to them of uh, what is needed. So I gotta do that. But first we start with the notes. On the new notepad. It's gonna be I think I 
it's a complete attack. 101546 is that number, so. Two low size knobs, William Edward 1M1, part number WE1M1, 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 WE1M1. William Harry 42X William Harry 42X William Harry 42X After the 42X 10946 16, 16 X. William Harry, 16 X. That's going to be William Harry, 16 X. After the 16 X is 10158. 10158. Number of the quantity. Uh, Four of those. Quantity is going to be four. And this is going to be part number. William Harry. William Harry. Zero one X. William Harry. Zero one X. After that. One hundred four six. One hundred four six. Quantity of four. And then labor.
And we will be joined by my favorite comedian, Corey Holcomb. Break out. Get y'all look at the y'all. Man got enough cars. Break out. He made me curse. We all. Oh, oh shit. God, God. Oh shit, Lavar's hey. Motherfucker's wrist ain't strong enough. <laughs> That's funny. Man. What's up, man? We here again, standing on the motherfucking mountaintop. Um, I want to do this right now while it's on my mind. We got a show this week up in um, Irvine. I'm sorry. I'm on Percocet. Painkiller. Percocet. I be fucked up. I be in bed laid up, boy. I be like, I see why these motherfuckers fuck with this. Hell yeah. Nigga, you be in bed like, yeah. <laughs> Did that give you some shit to help you sleep, too? Nope. Get that permethazine, man, and then fight to sleep. You're going to start hallucinating. The problem is I've been asleep for a week. Oh, yeah. Well, when I take that shit, I can't do nothing. All I do is let me get up in the... Uh, uh, you still managed to go out of town, which I was super impressed by. Yeah. I was like, what? And I slept out there. <laughs> all I did, all I do is sleep with that shit up in me, man. I be fucked up. But anyway, I want to do this. I'm going to try this. I don't know how many tickets left out there at the Irvine Improv for this Thursday night. But we normally have a lot of people in the chat room that want to support. Darlene, I'm putting you on the spot because I didn't oh. give you no heads up. What? Okay. 
Well, yeah, so I just put that out there like that. Yeah, that'll work. I'll get that together. Nice little pack. Go on here. Go on here. Get the rest of them tickets out the way because I don't want no tickets to be left. I want, I want to have to worry about people that I know finding a place to put them rather than having a place to put them, if you dig what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a, I, this, this show is um, some different shit. It's thought out. I'm going to try not to curse. I'm going to try not to use no profanity, but I know that ain't going to last too long. But it's going to be some different shit, man. Church type testimony. Mess with your boy, man. Um, what did homeboy say? You can't. There's a difference between cursing and cussing. The cussing right. the pastor or whatever. <laughs> this week, one of my homeboys, I've been knowing for a long time since college. We became best friends after I stole on him. <laughs> Why you still on him? Man, because he a wild boy. My nigga Nate. Never anything too easy. Nate a wild boy. He a big muscle bound motherfucker. And he's from Chicago. Yeah, where he was in when we was in college practice, he was just stealing on motherfuckers. He just stealing on motherfuckers. Then he walked up to me. Well, you know it was my turn. But I called him. Bop! I <laughs> put him out, huh? Bop! I got him with that one. He was so shocked because he felt like I'm the baddest motherfucker in here. Man, movie. right, but I hate I caught that because his teeth look nasty and it had that cut right there. Oh. I had to go to the doctor that night so it don't get infected because you know the human teeth nasty. Oh, the yeah. wow. well, that was before I knew how to steal on somebody. <laughs> Stealing on somebody, you ain't got to punch them in the mouth. No, the no. best what's the best way to steal on somebody, Craig? Right the Man, this is good. That's one of them. That's my hey, this bottom of the hand into that jaw. The bottom of the hand, this is a this is a button. If you yeah, tall, if you tall enough, yeah. I like the, the, the form. You tall enough, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And you just, ooh, come on. Yeah. Like, yeah, that button. I couldn't do it to you. Nate, people. you know I love you, boy, but I did super sock your ass. You thought you was finna get me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so what's it with Nate? But anyway, my homie Nate called me, and he showed me different videos of motherfuckers. Um, he got some videos? No, he got videos of people that I know mm -hmm. making fun of me with my hand being fucked up. <laughs> oh, wow. People y'all grew up with are just random people like on the internet or whatever. Fuck niggas. Oh. <laughs> fuck niggas. You know, motherfucking whole bunch of fuck niggas trying to get me to come down to the improv on Monday night. Corey, you gonna be here? No, nah, nigga, I'm wounded, nigga. I can't be around <laughs> y'all hyenas. And I'm a motherfucking lion. Have you ever seen when it's like 50 hyenas and they get that one lion by itself? Yeah, yeah. That's what they do. They fuck them up. But most of the time, it only be about five or six hyenas. And the lion just main one of them in front of them and be looking at them. Come help them. I'll bite the shit out of your head. See, I was, I, I'm a lion and I'm a little hurt. Right. So I don't want to be down there in front of them hyena ass niggas. Them niggas hyenas. Niggas who laugh at they shit more than everybody else laugh at they shit. That's what I call hyenas. Okay. Them motherfuckers who say something about you and they be like, ha 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 and he Good. was very impressed with how I'm healing. Good. He was like, oh, you're healing up. Good. He looked at the x-rays from that night when I did it mm -hmm. versus the x-rays now. I'm supposed to go see if I got to have surgery on this one. Mm -hmm. But he said, you probably won't have to have surgery on it. You just got to don't do nothing stupid. Yeah, don't be trying to take, yeah. Don't, I see, because this week, I, I, you know, I kept on trying to carry my luggage. And I'm not supposed to carry my luggage. Oh, man. Oh, what? Yeah. So I got to be wise and just not be the man that I know I am and let people help me out because this is the time where I need some help. There you go. But back on the fuck niggas. Let me tell you something about fuck niggas live with my mama ass fuck niggas. Hey man, everybody who is not really your friend, we was talking about this at the beginning of the show. Oh, yeah. And I want to go deep into it. Do it. People who not really happy about your well-being, your success, whatever you got going on, 
Listen to me. Listen to me. Please listen to me. They always have these things called micro reactions. It happened real fast. You got to watch them. They have a micro reaction of happiness to anything that is not going well for you. When you are around people that don't really like the fact that you shine or that you got this going on or that going on, you might be tall, you might be handsome, you know what I'm saying? Whenever they see something bad happen, they always smile for a second, but they catch themselves before it's too obvious. Mark my word. So when motherfuckers talk shit about me, I don't expect them motherfuckers to say, really, I don't like you, but I'm smiling it off because I don't want to go all the way to war with you. I just want to rub it in that you're down because it makes me feel good to see you down. I'm telling people in life about this stuff. You are going to run into more people that like to see you take a fall. In my case, literally, really a fall. That's their chance to smile like, good. They get some bad news about you. Uh, really, they can't help it. It happens like this. It's like this. This is how most motherfuckers do. What happened? He did? Oh. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that motherfucker had a little orgasm right there to see the motherfucking lion fucked up. The hyenas don't like the lion. Remember that. So they're going to always act like they joking with you. And some of your homeboys who got sincere intentions by you, they might joke with you, but you can tell. Yeah. It's just you think you're not supposed to say something when you know a motherfucker, a fuck nigga. But I'm OG, man. I, I'll tell you in a minute, man. Really, dog, you bother me. <laughs> you get on my nerve. You don't like me, motherfucker. What the fuck you around me for? Because I definitely ain't around you. Unless I might call you and barter with you. I barter with fuck niggas sometimes. Because that's how the world go. God damn it, when you go to the store and you buy some clothes, that motherfucker who paid uh, $5 for them jeans, he about to sell you for $100. Right. You bartering with a fuck nigga. You get know what I'm saying? I barter with fuck niggas. But I don't like hang with fuck niggas. I don't hang with guys that I feel like are not well intended by me or just bad morale type people anyway. So, you know, when you when you, when I see what people do, it's this one dude, I blocked him off my phone. I was telling y'all about it. Because he always sending me somebody in peril. Mm. He's always, this is what happened to what's his name. This is what happened to this. And I'm like, so when people, he sent me a, 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 a video of somebody having a fight. And I was like, well, why you didn't help him? You know him. And he didn't say nothing. Right. I was like, so you videotaped the fight mm. and now you show the fight off to random people. That gives away like they was fist here. fighting? Fist fighting, this dude got into a fight outside the club. We all know this dude, right. but this dude recorded it. This fuck hyena nigga, that's what I call him. Ha 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 ha. He recorded the dude fighting. You know him. I was like, did you know them dudes he was fighting? He was like, no. Yeah. I'm like, so you got a recording of the fight and you be smiling with this dude and now you showing the recording of the fight to other people. Yeah. That's a fuck nigga to me. Man. That's a fuck nigga to me. The fuck I'm gonna be showing off a fight or I, I, I do the shit I say because I don't like this motherfucker. Uh, that it, been, yeah, that would have been horrible. But that don't, been don't make it right, but it makes it show why you doing it. Right. But it be people out here, they want to act like they neutral. They want to act like, oh, I'm just I'm just showing I'm a good person. No. No, you're not. You a dirtbag. Mm -hmm. yeah. Watching somebody fight and you record it and show it for yucks. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I know. I, I, I I really I don't I don't know maybe I'm 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 just different I'm just different I ain't I ain't got no shame I'm not saying it like I'm bragging I'm just saying because I know it's a fact I love sincere people I love people with good intentions by humanity man I don't like people who are dirtbags and it be people like Corey you a dirtbag that's what I be like oh you don't know me no <laughs> you don't know me you don't be around me. <laughs> Give me motherfuckers swear up and down. I'm the worst motherfucker in the world. I'm like, see, I think I don't. What the fuck I do? 
I don't do nothing. What would be like, uh, Corey, you be making fun of people. Yeah, I do. I talk shit about internet stories on my show. The internet does mm, that, though. That's what I'm saying. I do that. I talk shit. I make fun of it, actually. People laugh when I do it. In fact, watch this. This really going to make you mad to the hater, motherfucker. People laugh when I do it, and they pay to see me. <laughs> People laugh when you do it because they just want to egg on some shit because they don't pay to come see you. There's proof of this. They don't pay to come see you. So you got to get it off the internet. I get it on the internet and everywhere else because people might see something inside of me that's a quality that's worth buying a ticket. That's what you ain't figured out yet. Y'all motherfuckers ain't shit. It's just when somebody say it to you, you think they just being mean. You ain't shit. I'm the lion. You the hyena, motherfucker. So Watch and see. <laughs> well, it's in moments like this, right? That they Some, say yeah. is when you find out. Some of these motherfuckers is actually uh, retarded. They actually that small. too. They actually uh, some of them got uh, what's that shit called? Of uh, what's that? Ashburgers. You know See, I mean? people don't know what Asperger's is. It's a form of autism where they yeah. don't really have empathy. They can only focus on one thing at a time. And some people are out and they're just mirroring what they think is greatness. You know what I'm saying? And um, and that's what that's what happens when, when we be out. Motherfuckers see you and they... You know the young brother, we be out, he ain't got no hair. Yeah. They was making cancer jokes about him. Yeah. But I had to stop and make sure, because I was joking with him too, but I was like, you don't have cancer, do you? Right. And he was like, no, man, it's alopecia. I was like, oh, okay. Because I ain't finna sit up here and laugh at no motherfucker that's really going through some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But... The hyenas laugh at whatever. They don't got no chill. And then when, when somebody be in a secret competition with you, they don't understand that you can see that they're trying to compete with you. So when they're in competition, you know, something go wrong for you, they competing and they view that as an opportunity to catch up. Or they view that as, you know what I'm saying, something that they can manipulate or take advantage of. You know, that's why them type of cats is always sharing information that they perceive um, is negative about somebody else. Because, you know, they want to sway perception so people will think they the shit. And, you know, so anytime somebody else isn't, it makes them feel like it, it makes them feel superior. Like, I didn't make that mistake. I didn't fall off a scooter. My, right. Every, every relationship I ever been in worked. I don't know what that motherfucker, motherfucker about. said to me. What y'all old lad doing on the scooter? Yeah. Motherfucker, I'm a boss ass nigga. I do boss shit. Fuck you talk about. You don't do it because you can't. Motherfucker, you got to look for the next firm to get them for theirs until... You set up the next one. <laughs> That's how your life work. God damn it. I'm going to go get this motherfucker to do this for me. I'm going to go get that motherfucker to do that for me. And then I'm going to sell myself like I'm this motherfucker. But then when you see me, I ain't shit. I ain't got motherfucker like who you talking about. I don't got to say no names. Motherfuckers going to step right up. There's enough. <laughs> there's enough similarity. They tell, yeah. people, the people are like, oh, he's talking about that's what's sad. They telling they're themselves, like, oh, though. Exactly. Man, the busters always step up. Mm -hmm. They all I didn't have motherfuckers call me. I wasn't even talking about them. Call me up and ask me, yo, yo, what, uh, do you got a problem with me? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm telling this was a friend of mine. Yeah. who did that about two or three times and i told him man stop calling me this thing i'm not finna be proving who i am to you yeah, i don't owe you nothing why just stop calling me that's what i told him if you think i'm a dirtbag like that stop calling me because it goes back to what you said some of these motherfuckers are retarded but they'll never admit they'll never admit it it's i have this problem with everybody actually <laughs> That's real shit. They ain't gonna never say I'm a fucked up motherfucker. It's a couple reasons. Let me give you a couple reasons why they retarded. What? One is the lack of mirror neuron neurons in the brain. These are the neurons that fire off when you witness something or uh, you do something. So it's like a reactionary thing. So it always has them like a so step. They're lacking. Behind. They're lacking. They're always a step behind. So being a step behind, they get frustrated. 
You know, these are people who can't set trends, who aren't trendsetters. They wait for something to materialize and then they piggyback or they ride off of that because mm -hmm. they're, they're just slow, they're a step behind. It's, it's, it's a part of their biology. They can't do shit about it. And then childhood trauma, that's the most common thing. You know, uh, at, a, at a certain age of your life, we get our, our identity from our parents and our family. And that's at an early age. But some people are severely neglected and never are around anybody that embraces them so they can develop an identity. So they don't view commonality as a way to show love and and experience community. They view commonality as a way to get what they want from you. So they'll they'll mirror you and take on your personality traits and act like they fuck with you, but it's all just to get what they want from you. There's no real emotion or empathy attached to it. It's just the game they play so they can get you to let them in the door. Then once they're in the door, they're gonna stab you in the back because they don't have the ability to empathize or have emotion for anybody. But Is there himself. a synopsis for this guy, Craig? This guy I'm about to tell you? Yeah. I was on, I was on Melrose, and I, 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 I didn't see it happen, but I heard the gunshots. And when I was driving, I saw this dude. He was shot. He was dying on the ground. Jeez. This dude was shot. Who, who, who is this motherfucker who was standing over him with a camera like, damn, homie, this fucked up. I want to look at him. I, I want to be like, I wish your ass was shot. And Man. a motherfucker, the last thing you see is a motherfucker standing over you with a camera phone. That's what I wanted to say to the motherfucker that was standing over him. Man, that's cold, bro. Can you imagine you going out and there's a motherfucker standing over you? Just a stupid motherfucker like, damn, homie, just fucked up. Yeah, that's wow. cold. That's way to Yeah, I don't know what you call people like that, but it's a lot of them that I know who stand out front with us. When we be standing out in front of the club, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I don't like them type motherfuckers, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like motherfuckers who act like they don't know, or if they don't know, then you can't help me by being around me. You waiting to see something happen to me. Yeah. Was you out there when my car spent out? No, I can't. I wasn't there that week. I heard y'all talking about it the next week. Man, my motherfucking car spent out, man. I saw the look in some of them niggas' eyes. Them niggas was excited. He was in the, 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 the Chevy. Oh my God. Yeah, I was in the Chevy. Yeah. Mm. Them niggas was excited. They was like, damn, he almost got it's, fucked it's, up. <laughs> I'm like, man, yeah. what the fuck you cake ass motherfuckers, man? <laughs> but I, I'm used to motherfuckers watching with envy. It don't bother me. But I call them out, man. I'm mm. calling them out, man. Like you were saying something. I, I ain't trying to start no shit, but you, when you said what you said today, Craig, I was already on that page when you said about how because like we stand out front with a whole bunch of different people on monday night right in front of the club there's a lot of toxic niggas out there right oh my gosh niggas out there not all of them it's some no. niggas i think that's solid there's a lot of solid niggas out there yeah you know but we got something good that we've been doing for 20 plus years standing outside roasting and some people caught on to the culture and they bring in other dramas mm. and falsehoods and negativity and ego and and street shit to a comedy community. And, you know, a lot of times people got the wrong idea about comedians. They think that we pushovers and we, you know, we, you know, we ain't men, you know what I'm saying? So, it, you know, the improv is a, is a great tradition, but the niggas might have to back off that for a little while, man, because it ain't, it ain't what it used to be. Man. Don't you smell something happening one day? Yeah, yeah. Man, I know how many niggas out there with that goddamn it. Yeah, everybody's strapped out there. Right, motherfucker. Ain't no motherfuckers out here naked. So what's going to happen when something really go bad? Man. You know what I'm saying? I don't want that to happen. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to let them have it for a little while, man. We got to regroup that shit. Yeah. That's... We might have to have a meetup spot for the real niggas. <laughs> Invite only. Because the jokes ain't never going to stop, regardless of the bullshit. Right. Yeah, yeah. Niggas come out there with, but <laughs> this shit is funny, man. It's like, and I ain't mad at none of them niggas, because I know me, I'm going to get the fuck away from you. I ain't finna argue with you. No, I'm going to get ghosts on your motherfucking ass, because I ain't got time for you. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker. Oh, they go Corey Holcomb. Let's walk up to him and say something slick. <laughs> motherfucker. What if a motherfucker be calling you fat, right? And then you be like, but you broke and live with your mama. Hilarious. Is that about, that's about even, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking. If somebody say, Corey, you fat. And I say, you broke and live with your mama. <laughs> that's, that's about even, right? <laughs> I'm wondering. Especially if it's the truth. 
Boy, you motherfuckers acting like thing. you on my speed, nigga. You ain't on my speed, nigga. You baby boy, nigga. Boy, if you don't motherfucker show some motherfucker respect to the motherfucker that gave you a pamper to wear in this motherfucker. <laughs> I gave you a pamper, nigga. And you ain't do nothing but shit in it and say, give me another one, nigga. Get your cake ass out of here, nigga. Yo, get for real, nigga. Get out your mama house before you talk shit about the God, nigga. I'm really that nigga. I been stopped living with my mama. What the fuck are you talking about, man? I used to, I helped my mama at that age. By the time you're 35, you're supposed to help your mama. Not go half with her. Nigga, shut the fuck up, boy. Y'all motherfuckers don't motherfucking understand. I'm really the motherfucking boss. You can't go back and forth with a boss, nigga, like y'all the same motherfucking nigga and you done did fuck shit. <laughs> After you do the fuck shit, you're supposed to just be respectful to each other. At least that's just my opinion. But, nigga, you can't be with your mama. You can't live with your mama, be on the internet talking shit. I think if you live with your mama, you should have to check that in a box every time you get on the internet. <laughs> you cannot talk about nobody else's business until you let everybody know, I live with my mama. So, if you that type of nigga, man, you better watch who the fuck you talk about, man, because you know you ain't going to do nothing to get your little feelings hurt and shit. Nigga motherfucker damn near 40 living with your mama and shit. Nigga, get your cake ass out of here, nigga. Ha ha ha. Let me get my fake laugh. Ha 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 ha. Ha Fuck out of here, nigga. I'm a boss, nigga. Fuck out of here. Now go home and ask your mama for something. Um, nigga. Man. I can't, mother, you ain't, we ain't equal if you live with your mama and you damn near 40. We not equal niggas. Recognize the gods. I mean, I, I'm waiting on somebody to tell me I'm wrong. When am I wrong? If you live with your mama, no matter how you put it, it be niggas talking about, uh, that's my roommate, me and my mom. Get the fuck out of <laughs> here, Somebody just asked that question. They said, what if, what if, well, not this situation, but they're just asking, what if the mama lives with the son? Like, you know, like an mm. older. That's a cap. <laughs> that's a cap. My mama live with me. <laughs> That's a cap. Nigga, we out here in these motherfucking streets, dog. You gotta have some respect for the motherfucking elders. If you don't got no respect for the elders, goddammit, we gonna motherfucking make it be like it's gonna be. Wait, somebody said, I'm Mexican, it's different. That was good. Said that. that was good. That was a good one. Somebody just said that. So I said they Mexican so they can live with their problem. Uh, I'm Mexican so it's different. Yeah. Okay. I got respect for the Mexicans who all See, look, get one people. place and everybody take care of it. Yep, everybody. A lot of them. And even on the same property. You know what I'm saying? Like they all live like mama. You know what I'm saying? But like you see the Mexicans, you automatically say, oh yeah, they all live together. They all live together. But you can't be no nigga acting out here like you some motherfucking yeah, it. Yeah. man. Mm -hmm. You live with your mama, nigga. Shut the fuck up when you talking to a guy. You supposed to be like, hey man, I wish you well, speedy recovery, woo woo woo, but I'm gonna fuck with you a little bit, woo. You ain't say that. Motherfuckers out here taking this moment to get their digs in, cause they know. Nigga, I don't want you up under me, cause I done picked you. First of all, any nigga damn near 40, I'm talking about black men, and you live with your mama and you damn near 40. You could buy a place and move your mama in, but we know that ain't what it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nigga, if I buy a place and move my mama in, I'd be proud. I'd say I live with my mama just so niggas can hate on me. Because yeah, I'm really the boss-ass nigga doing what the fuck I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to be there for my people. Shit. But when you a nigga living with your mama and playing it off like your mama the homie, <laughs> no, Nick. No, Nick. Shut the fuck up. You got to register that online. <laughs> you ain't even on your internet. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't even think of that. Niggas got to show bills in their names, dog, before they get talking shit on the internet, man. Niggas got to show paperwork that they have graduated to manhood 
before they talk about manhood shit. How about that's the new flex? I love it. Make that the new flex. You yeah, got to really show, good. man. Look, ain't nothing. Look, let me tell you something. I, paid I this didn't start paying rent, rent till I was thirty. When I was thirty, I moved out here to L.A. That's when you start paying rent. That's when I paid rent. When yes. I moved to L.A. That's late in the game. It is. You see, it's but that's why I'm saying who I am. Yeah, that's yeah. Late man, I used to lay up on bitches, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's the easiest thing in the world find a bitch moving in. I have potential. <laughs> they be looking out. People be looking out. Yeah. Nigga, that bitch was like, hell yeah, you can come over here. <laughs> they get tired of it after a while and kick me out, but I already had another bitch set up. I laid off bitches till I was thirty. Right, because whatever game you sold the the first one, if it didn't pan out after a while, it's like, oh he, oh. This didn't know the game, niggas done laid up off her. No, but they but they meant it. The one I the one I supported <laughs> meant it. Hello became the became a superstar. He kept his heart. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, no, that's what you're talking about. You're talking yes, about the world's yes. the, one of the world's greatest. Hello. Hey D, I ain't okay. phony when I say that. I call right. that man one of the world's greatest. Okay. When I see you doing concerts and you got your motherfucking seed right there with you on the stage, nigga, you one of the world's greatest. Ice motherfucker T. I ain't true. taking nothing away from that yeah, motherfucker, man. You crazy. That man one of the world's greatest, man. That motherfucker grabbed his son out the motherfucking bottom of the game and got him with him. These motherfuckers out here don't even like their son. Man. Just because their son ain't right. They feel like, well, fuck that nigga. <laughs> nigga, shit, motherfucker. I'll speak on it, but back on this 100 shit I'm talking about. Yeah. Nigga, let me tell y'all motherfuckers something. Every motherfucker out there who ain't got a receipt for it to go see the garbage motherfucker. See, Sexy Reg cheated shit on the internet, but buying them tickets, them people was like, oh, now, now wait a minute. Now you're, you're taking it a bit too far. You want us to buy a ticket, park, to see that shit? Are you out of your mind? They love to see the train wreck on the internet. Sure. Nigga, you fucking with one of the world's greatest, nigga. Be, watch what you say about a nigga like me. And any motherfucker saying I'm sensitive, motherfuck you, nigga. Yeah, that's the thing, man. The motherfuckers want to pick and play. I fuck with the real niggas, dog. Any motherfucker been up under me, they gonna tell you, motherfucker, I got a heart of gold. I'm generous. I don't give a fuck about nothing. I know it ain't my last. I tell a motherfucker in a minute, like I told my motherfucking ex-wife, this, this this ain't my last money, bitch. This yours. Mm. Shit, Nick, getting fucked. Somebody say you don't even like your son, Corey. Okay, if I don't like my son, so my son know better. Me and my son talked the other day. He needed some money. I had to let him know, dog. You got you got to go out and get some paper, Nick. You got to find a way to get some motherfucking paper. You dig what I'm saying? You starting to get what you about 22 now. Nigga, you got to find the game, nigga. What you going to do, nigga? But I know it's hard to plant your feet. Damn, he 22 now? Yeah, Dang man, these years fly by. It did. Yeah. Woo. To plant your feet in the soil and grow in America is a very hard thing for people who think independently. Now, if you just the type of motherfucker who can be led, you can go to college, get a job, Go to work every day, and ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't it, it's very respectable. But some of us are independently, uh, you know what I'm saying, moving about things in this world. It's really hard to tell me get here on time and do this. My teacher taught me that you need to be on time. One of my teachers when I was in eighth grade, I fucked up. one of my teachers. I'm like, bitch, I ain't never did shit y'all taught me to do. Dick in the pussy. Oh my God. In eighth grade, you smashed the teacher? Not in eighth grade. I saw it later in life. I'm Corey Holcomb. Quit acting like I'm not some <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> do you see this sexy ass hat no, I got on? Right? Oh, man. Look, look. Dick, them hoes love me. I don't oh. give a fuck what a motherfucker say. Dick talk shit about me. Them hoes love me, boy. 
When I ran into my motherfucking old teacher, she was like, Corey! I was like, oh, this bitch been giving us fuck. Uh, you were like, I'm on time tonight. <laughs> you smacked her that night? I wasn't on time to pick her up when I fucked. Oh. <laughs> I ain't never been on time. I ain't never did nothing they he was told like, me to Thank do. Thank you for the information, but I'm still not utilizing that information. I'm still not. I ain't going to never do what they tell me to do. I didn't tell... If I went on a job interview, I'd be so scared. I'd be I'm not going to do nothing. I, I might do good for a week. <gasps> not a week. Maybe two weeks. I might do what they tell me to do. After that, we moving shit out the back door to sell on the streets. <laughs> oh, my God. No one has ever heard of <laughs> What? <laughs> do you really think I'm going to count all your money and give it to you? I ain't talking, look, I swear this might sound, this might sound hypocritical. I'm not talking to my brothers and sisters, but I'm talking to the motherfuckers that's been standing on our neck for years. Do you really think I'm finna be part of something that makes you everything and gives me nothing? I'm gonna rob you. Ain't no way around it. I would tell, I, I'm such a man, I would tell the person who trying to hire me that if you snooze i'm gonna get you <laughs> but i'm a good worker like how do you what is your so that's your disclaimer like look uh if you do it don't worry about giving me no raise i'm finna make that bread while i'm here <laughs> oh my god i'm gonna find all the licks up here raise myself right <laughs> my old career now if some if you needed a job you would if i needed a job god damn it i'm gonna work that motherfucking job i'm not going to work i'm going to work the job that's what i do i, I was born to do it oh i can't picture you having no job now that would be funny as fuck hey craig if you see me working the job <laughs> i'm killing the ass Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You see me working a job, dog. They're like, that motherfucker finna go to prison. What would it take for you to work for somebody? How much? I don't care how much they paying. Like a That's what everybody else get. I don't care what they paying. Like a movie. When I find the angles and the licks and everybody else who been in the rules on the job, we finna get this paper. I made more money working at Burger King than I ever made probably at any job I ever worked. We was having box of whoppers in the garbage can. That's true. I did do Go that. Go pick was, them up I've after work. I've spoken on it before. I did. Man, I did the same thing. But that was when I was younger. Bad. I'll be yeah. God's honest truth. I don't do any of that stuff like that now. But when I was younger, you like well, actually yeah. licks, but not at the job. Because they got all your personal information. So when they call the police, they can be like, Corey Holcomb. <laughs> hey, man, listen. Let me tell you something, man. Mm -hmm. I know how the game really go. Mm -hmm. Them people. If I was fucked up, my name would be Niall. Oh wow, he don't Bonner. Wow. <laughs> as soon as they take me up, I'm running out there. Dang. Dang. Diggy. Hey, I can't do it now, cause there's. It, hey, God'll get me for that. He'll be like, "Hold on, now, Corey, you ain't got no business doing that." So I know I can't do that. Yeah, yeah. But if I was fucked up, oh. man, the game is the game. Yeah. <laughs> the game is the game, man. I, man, I, man, come on, man. Y'all motherfuckers know Somebody how this shit go, man. <laughs> what they call me? Charles Sway. Who? Charles Sway. Somebody called me Charles Sway. <laughs> Y'all some stupid motherfuckers. <laughs> oh. No, I, I I owned up to all that. Like I, we joke about it now because it was a couple of people that I actually helped when I was doing hey, stuff like is that. Is the honey in here, Phil? Or no? No. Okay, it's all good. I'm Cast good. Cast it and then I'll doctor it up for you. But watch that. No, I'm good. I'm trying to. I got. They gonna know what kind oh, this is. Oh god. I don't want to advertise this. No, shit. I wasn't boosting. I wasn't. Boosting. I was boosting. No, but somebody said it on the thing. D was probably boosting. Nah, Me and the homie Sam was the greatest. Oh. When we got caught, the last time we got caught, Not even drugs, it was this big, swole, Caucasian detective. He says, I see you guys been caught about, this is about your third time. Uh -oh. This is the Caucasian detective, a big-ass white boy. He said, let me tell you something. What's going to happen now? You guys might have to do a little time, or you're going to be on, what's that shit where they don't lock you up, but you be having to 
check in with the all that shit. Right, yeah. right. He said, but they, they might lock you up this time. But they said, do you know if you guys get caught again, you're going to prison How for this? In our early 20s. We was boosters. Oh, you were old enough. Yeah, yeah. Wow. We was boosters, man. We was stealing medicine out of the motherfucking big drugstore and sell it to the Indian man. I give you $2 to beat for this, etc. Damn. Oh, that's a cold lick. That's Only reason we got cold because I listened to Sam. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Sam was like, oh, it's this big store. We got to hit it. It's just like that movie where they was in Boston. What's the name of that movie? <laughs> Where well, they robbed the motherfucking baseball stadium, but they got caught. Oh, yeah, that's a good movie. I forgot the name of that movie, so, man. They know who, what we're talking about. Yeah, with uh, Ben Affleck. Yes, the, the Irish uh, crew, the whole friends, childhood yeah. friends, Irish childhood friends. So they're gonna, they gonna say it up there that's in a, a second. That's a good movie. No, that's a real good movie. I think about Ocean's Eleven, but I don't think it's that one. The Town. The Town, yeah. Reed, Reed Ooh, said The Town. I'm gonna watch that again. Homie, I listened to Sam, just like he listened to his homeboy. This last one. We talking Man. about 1987? We talking about. You guys did it now. No, it was probably 93. Okay. But it was when they first started having the cameras at the store. But they didn't have the camera on the cop. Man, we was a kid, man. That, 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 it was this old white white police officer when they was booking us. He was like, oh, you guys went to Omni Superstore? <laughs> they got cameras as soon as you pull on the parking lot. We got a whole DVD of you guys. Oh, my. <laughs> Hell no. But anyway, Sam, you know you fucked up. Yeah, the town. The town. Man, I had, man, when I was young, man, I was. I had a whole bunch of nice shit when we was boosting. Oh, see, so you were doing it for that. I was doing it just to survive. When they say literally survive, survive. Well, you, you do it to survive, but you start having nice shit if you're doing it good. Which imagine one? imagine a motherfucker give you like seven, eight hundred dollars. Right, well, we have. And then you do it again the next day. That's true. Yeah, and then you do it again the next day. That's true. Well, we already had it. We, we was killing them motherfucking yeah. grocery stores, man. Yeah. But then we got caught. And then what were you doing with it? So you weren't paying rent or anything? Buying sneakers and, and look boot, bootleg cars. We was young. We didn't give a fuck about no tomorrow. Mm -hmm. See, I had to pay rent and everything. What that motherfucker from Goody Mob say? I live for the day. Motherfucker another hour. It might Ooh. go sour. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. When you young, man. That's true. Enjoy yourself. Ever since you I was can. a kid, I always said, this ain't my last money. Thank you, D'Antonio. That motherfucker who don't know how to get no money. I'm gonna always find a way to get some money, dog. You put me in the middle. It's, boy, let me tell you something. If you eat a lot of sugar when you older and your dick start dying, that's when you run out of options. That diabetes, boy, that take away your motherfucking options, boy. I'm telling you, if your dick ain't working, you can't lay up all bitches no more. They be like, shit, I can get anybody to eat this pussy. Man, that's what I said. Damn. So once you get about 40, you got to start eating like them healthy motherfuckers. Because that shit going to kick in on your ass. And you're going to be out here, uh... Gummy worm. <laughs> <laughs> Can you pull your titty out? No, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> I had this bitch, she always keep a bra on when I fuck her. I was like, bitch, what, you hiding your titties, bitch? I see the line. That doctor <laughs> didn't do a good job on you, oh, but I seen oh, it. Oh, my God. She had them, uh, she had that motherfucking alley breast surgery. I can tell that shit wasn't right. Yeah, it wasn't right. It wasn't right. And that was some good That hustling. keloid line was too too fat, goddammit. That, that was some good hustling y'all was doing. Seven eight hundred a day? Yeah. Man, I, okay, yeah. okay, See, look. I did that in one month. Let, let me not let me let's, let me not let me not exaggerate. Yeah. Real talk. Combined. Average three. But we had them seven hundred, eight hundred dollar days when you hit the lick, and you know what I'm saying. Yeah, sure. You know what I'm saying. Shit. So yeah. How y'all find the connected buy it? I just come up. All them thing. Indian motherfuckers will buy the store, the stuff you steal out of the big, the big grocery stores. Yeah. Cause they don't want to buy that shit, and they wasn't paying us what we should have got for that shit. That yeah. shit was like seven, eight, right. nine dollars. So like the little bodega type yeah. stores. Yeah. Just gonna re little they bullshit reset. stores yeah. where they sell t-shirts and. Yeah. And, and, and orange yeah. juice. What was your uh, what, what was your uh, stealing outfit? You had on like the jacket with the big pockets. Well, we knew that a lot of grocery stores didn't have a security come in until ten o'clock, but they open at eight o'clock. Right. So we'd be there early in the morning, walking out the door with half of the motherfucking shit. Oh wow! Bunch of yuck in your. I had a homeboy still. named Quincy. He used to get mad because I used to steal so much when I worked at one of them stores. He was like, "You gonna get caught." Corey, you gonna get caught. <laughs> he, was so, he was so concerned. 
Especially when I stole these headphones, he was like, oh, remember the Walkman with the yeah. CD plays? Oh, they cut you. They gonna catch you. You know he got caught. Yeah. Wait. Stealing a donut. Oh, it wasn't in the car. I said, I know this nigga didn't get caught stealing a donut. That's funny. This nigga fired for a donut? That's funny. Oh, God. Ah. <laughs> it's a statute of limitations, so he can talk about all Everybody that. Everybody keep asking how I, I, I fuck my head. I fell off a scooter, motherfucker. Y'all don't know. I said that last week. They didn't week. see it. Last yeah. week, they didn't see it. Somebody said he got a, he got a real cast on. He, he had was, two casts on last week. He was a drug stealer and dealer. Oh, oh. Hell yeah, nigga. When I was young, man, I, I thank God for all the shit I survived, man. Yes. I, I could have been in jail. I could have been. Yeah, I, so many times. That's why I ain't got no complaints. Motherfucker, like, the doctor, when he was wrapping this shit up today, he was like, you're in good spirit. I'm like, this ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't shit. These gonna heal, motherfucker. Shit, I seen motherfuckers. I seen a motherfucker taking off his sweatpants. Drunk. At the beach. Fell, bust his head wide open where you could see the inside of that motherfucker. Man. And his homies thought somebody did something to him. What the fuck happened? It was like, man, that nigga fell. Take that nigga to the doctor. Man. That nigga head open. Man. Wow. It was blood everywhere. He was drunk, trying to take off the pan. That motherfucker hit that ground hard. That's why I'm like, motherfucker, I ain't tripping off shit. Yeah, and not only that, at least you were doing something, like I said, when people say, oh, uh, I, I don't like seeing that when people say, oh, uh, uh, you too old for this, you too old for that. Man, it's called living. It's yeah. called an accident. I know you enjoying living. yourself. Worst you thing happened to me, man. This bitch stopped fucking with me, man, and she used to give me money like a motherfucker. That bitch broke up with me right when these new Jordans was coming out. I was like, oh, please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, back in the day, two of them Ooh, Back in the day, yeah, yeah. I know a dude who, who died playing catch with his son. No, really? he, why he didn't catch yeah, it? Hit him. Just throwing the football back and forth. His son threw it. He went to catch it and stumbled. <gasps> like he was on the sidewalk and hit his temple. On that was it. Oh my God. Over with. Oh. Cold world, man. Oh, yeah, so see, accidents ain't no joke. Ain't man. no joke. We just never know. Yeah, man. Like, yeah. You gotta really be. I still be out there roller skating and stuff like that. But like I said, it's life. Like you just go. I got out. some roller skates. I ain't finna get rid of them. No way. I'm mm -hmm. like, mm -mm. you know, um, you don't roller skate no more, D. No, 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 no. I'm saying I would never get rid of. Are you kidding me? But I got the, I got the wrist brain. I, I got yeah. all that shit because no, I don't want to fall and fuck myself up. No, again. I wear. I, I for sure always wear the wrist guards. Always wear the wrist guards because that's what's gonna prop you up when you do fall man. um when i go out on the street streets yeah i'll put on all the other stuff but or if i'm practicing a new move or whatever but nah i'm not gonna give it up if i can keep going like all during the pandemic i rode my bike i hadn't had a bike in so long yeah. but when the pandemic hit i went and got a bike rode all the way from my house to the beach would yeah. stay out yeah hell no darlene a girl from the motherfucking country yeah that's true desert country desert yeah Darlene is one of them women that's um, equipped to live when the world goes to shit. Because we were talking about that earlier. Yep. <laughs> the world is going to go to shit. All you bitches who can't hunt, <laughs> who don't eat crickets, <laughs> all you women who are just basically women of leisure, you take from the, from, from the weak, y'all going to be in a bad place. Well, it ain't going to be y'all. It's going to be y'all daughters. And, and, and I'm sorry, but a lot of, uh, I'd say that goes for men and women. Like nowadays, a lot of people, like I'm surprised. So I a lot see, of men can't do nothing. That's I why see them sitting on the side of the freeway. They can't even. I don't know how to hunt, but I'm, yeah. I want to learn. I want to go somewhere. How about a base? And really be stuck on an island for about three months. You Wait. know, they got them Alaska trips where they drop you off in the middle of nowhere. Right. And you live out there for two weeks. You got a guide and y'all hunt and mm -hmm. cook y'all own food. Nah, I'm scared of Alaska. I like, want to be somewhere else. I don't want to be in nowhere where it's cold. I want to be like, man, I'm finna take all this shit off. I'm a naked and afraid nigga. That <laughs> is true. I like that show. I would never do it, but nah, I like I that show. No, nah, I'm not being naked in nature. That shit is crazy. <laughs> right, boy. Them mosquitoes, boy. I know that uh, a mosquito bite on your balls. Oh, oh. I'll be like, I give in. Get me the fuck out of here right now. <laughs> I ain't lost. Exactly. <laughs> My balls got a bump on it that I ain't never seen before. <laughs> I know about all the rest of these, but I ain't never seen this before. What bit me? I need my balls checked out. 
No yeah. doctors, no doctors, no medicine, no I man. A snake try to mate with my dick. Oh, <laughs> God. That's why I love that whole part with that, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 with the uh, Wilson. Wilson. Who was a homeboy? Tom Hanks. Well, he was, he was out there and he had to learn how to yes. live on that I, island. Ooh, I can watch that over and over again and be like, oh. You know, I had a bad accident too. You know that, right? Mm -mm. Talk to him. You know, I used to drive trucks. I flipped over in the diesel. What? Like his brother, his brother did that. I never told you that? Yeah, I was, you told me that. I knew yeah. that and I remember because oh, my brother did it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the scary. Let me tell you something about death, man. I was. That's the close. I mean, I've been shot at before. I've been stabbed once. Uh... That shit was the scariest thing I've ever been through. Mm. Because once I realized... The truck rolled over? The truck... I was on the Gaino Road exit. It was in May 13th, to <laughs> May 12th or 13th, 2013. I was coming around the curve, and they loaded my truck fucked up. So it was uneven they, yeah, on each side. Exactly. On the side. I, had a, I had a pallet in the middle of my truck, but it should have been at the, at the nose of my truck. It was at the back of my truck. So when I hit the curve... The back the of the trailer the shifted, yeah. and the whole truck flipped. But, but when it started to flip, I put my blinker on. When I put my blinker on, the truck started to lean. I'm so oblivious to the fact that the truck is flipping. When it started leaning, I think, oh, this is a strong-ass blinker. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm not God, even knowing is. that the truck is He's flipping. Stupid. <laughs> so the truck flip over, and now I'm sliding on the freeway. Because I, I was getting onto the freeway. I'm sliding onto the freeway. The trailer knock over, you know how some, some uh, freeway entrances have the, the stoplight mm -hmm. and knock over the stoplight. That shit fall on the freeway. And now I'm, uh, you know, my head keep hitting the window and I can't stop it. And I didn't have my seatbelt on. Oh, so my no. head hit the window. Bow, bow, bow. So it finally stopped sliding. And now I get up and I'm standing on the driver window in the in the in the truck. Wow, bed. And awesome. I keep trying to kick out the glass because I think the motherfucker going to blow up. Right. Luckily, it was natural gas. It was a natural gas truck, so it didn't have gasoline. It had natural gas. Mm. And um, so, but in my head, I'm about to die. So I, I keep getting on my tippy toes to open the passenger uh, door so I can get out. And every time I open it, it slammed right back in my face. You know what? You know that was that was the mirror uh, or the window. That was the window saying, "Shut up, black." <laughs> <laughs> and that was some scary shit. Somebody had to stop it. You ain't got nothing I want to hear. That, that was some scary shit, Damn. man. Yeah, that was. And wild. what year was that? That's 2013. So how old? This motherfucker say not a good was, truck driver, man. The truck drivers be rolling them trucks, boy. Man. You just don't know. It don't take but a minute. It don't 30, take but a little gust of wind. I was 33, 34. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't get hurt for real, for yeah, real. Could have been. I but see, gone. you've had moments like that in your life. Like I'm about to say, my arms look like Doberman pitcher snow boots. Oh, like you you train in, <laughs> you train in the dog. Like, to my <laughs> oh shit. I don't know. I used to say tell people. I used to tell people you ain't lived if you've really never been through something or hurt yourself. But then I take that back. Somebody, Somebody say, "Don't talk like that." I'm driving right now. I can't oh, see his name. Oh, I, oh. I like to yell out names. Why not? Yeah, say. cause you give motherfuckers they shout out. Like, go back down. Let me see who said that. Cause he got a tripped out surprise. name. Yeah. Let me see. He got a tripped out name. There oh, it is. Ready? Don't. How do you say that? Jazzy Tafari. Jazzy Tafari. Yeah, Jazzy Tafari. Or Tafari. Oh, yeah, so Tafari. Probably Ethiopian. Or, right. Yeah. I'm going to drive this car into the. No, I'm fucking with you. Wow. But I am telling you. Yeah. <laughs> but before yes. prior. Motherfuck, what the, what the motherfuckers argue? What he said? Oh you, my God, the two you, uh, 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 right. you crazy or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. Right. And then he was cursing so much that he. Bloody <laughs> fuck you, bloody. <laughs> no, he blended the words. He said blastered. He was right. Like, you blastered. You <laughs> <laughs> blastered. <laughs> Bloody fuck you! <laughs> Nigga, that shit funny. Yeah. Did y'all hear the song somebody remixed off that shit? No. Oh, who did? Man, somebody did. remixed the song, man. Uh. You crazy or something? <laughs> Bloody fuck, motherfuck well, you! You're getting fuck good with your uh, accents, Corey. Oh, I'm getting good, goddammit. <laughs> Thanks for the get well soon out there, goddammit. Yes, there you go. Oh. Somebody say, drive my Uber. Shit. Shit. Anyway, yeah, okay, but... let me get this in. Craig, did you get off that shit you wanted to say about? No, I was just going off you. I know you want to rant a little bit. So no, no, no. If, I don't want to take your point because if you got something you want to say, I love. I think you make good points. You know, some people get mad when you make good points. Yeah, that's. They be like, you listen to him more than I listen to me. Oh, oh man. <laughs> hey, man. What? I just came to the conclusion that some people are sick. 
And I literally view them through the lens of somebody that's sick, like a motherfucker that got cancer or somebody that has, you know, a disease that that they, they don't want to have. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's how I view them, because if you don't view them like that, you'll try to use logic. You'll try to use uh, you'll try to use intelligence to build a bridge with somebody and it's not possible for them to ever cross it because they 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 thinking through an unhealthy lens you know so sometimes you know i'm learning that you just gotta let them have it whoever you know who them sick motherfuckers you just gotta let, let them have had a shit by themselves because you drive drive yourself crazy checking everybody and and, and trying to uh yeah. you know everybody out here i want you to know as soon as you walk out your front door you have entered the fuck zone some of you motherfuckers chose a partner that ain't really got your back so you are always in the fuck zone. Oof. But for those of us who are wise and live alone uh, <laughs> and um, walk bitches to their car, um, soon as you leave your house, you in the fuck zone. People are setting you up to fuck you over. While they're talking to you, you're tolerating it, you're doing it. Most people are setting you up to get fucked. When somebody is talking to you, don't listen to them. Stop and look at them. All the information you need is gonna be right there. <laughs> mm. Just look at who talking to you. You're gonna be like, man, get the fuck out of my face. Mm -hmm. It's the mm -hmm. outwardly focused motherfuckers. They always got something to say about somebody else and what they ain't doing and did you hear what he did and why would he do that? I can't believe they, they don't never got shit to say about themselves, though. You be around a motherfucker uh, 20 years and they never heard a personal story about them failing or coming up short in life. They always talk about where another motherfucker come up short and try to convince everybody around that motherfucker that they shouldn't fuck with that monkey. It's just a weird ass game, man. It's like. You know these, you know. But that's like the that's like the biggest sign that they're given. You, you know right. what I'm saying? Like if you claim that this person is around you, oh, I like him, he's my friend. If you see that one too many times, you have the opportunity to decide what am I gonna do with this person? You know what I'm saying? Like at bay or not? So a lot of times, gosh forbid, you don't want something to happen yeah. to somebody that they had caused it but at the same time you go well you saw that it's called red flags so when somebody sees it's like wait a second now hold you on you say craig shirt looked like an optical illusion yeah oh, thank you man i appreciate it <laughs> hey and also two shortcuts right too. like we was both talking about you was talking about how you used to hustle i used to hustle mm -hmm. too but like if your shortcut is actually cutting somebody Ooh, else yeah you, then that's not a shortcut you're a motherfucking taking advantage of people there you go it's okay, a difference a point, between yeah. hustling in the street and and then hustling people you know mm -hmm. if you build a core group or a circle of motherfuckers and you're causing deceit and dissension and spreading lies and you're trying to shortcut people that you know think you love them or you know what I'm saying? like when i used to sell fake gold chains right <laughs> i was a dirtbag right right because i sell that motherfucker to any motherfucker who heard yeah. that sucker shit i said wow is it real yeah. are you out your motherfucking mind <laughs> and you was a nigga with the, with the big ass jacket pocket you used to play no. <laughs> was and he got right there <laughs> the hey i killed washington mutual i gotta be one of the reasons why they ain't around no more you know about washington mutual uh, what they do we used to drop them bum ass checks in the, in the accounts the back. check game is a motherfucker dog people don't know about <laughs> checks yeah. whatever you put a check in the world boy that's your ass if that's a fuck mm -hmm. motherfucker yeah but I want, I want, I want, I want to put, put this out here because I know we're getting mm -hmm. deep in the show. It is my opinion that women need to be <laughs> saved from themselves. Let me say that again. It is my opinion women need to be saved for them, saved from themselves. But let me give you the real. You shouldn't be trying to save no woman. That ain't saving what she got for you. Yes. You ain't got no business trying to say no woman. If you got a woman who talk to other guys all the time, that ain't your woman. If you got a girl who always going somewhere, that ain't your woman. <laughs> it's sacrifices to having a man. 
Anytime you are not around me in my presence, you are being destroyed. So if you got a woman that ain't saving herself, I'm talking about, I ain't just talking about the pussy. I'm talking about, if you got a woman that talk to coworkers on the phone all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Eh? Who are you talking to? <laughs> this Steve from work. You, what? But y'all don't even You ain't got a bitch trying to save her. <laughs> but women need to be saved from themselves. But a woman who don't save it all for you, it all for you. Let me say that again. A woman who don't save it all for you, you ain't got no business trying to save her. <laughs> now, a lot of people might not understand or get or agree with what I just said, but listen. I'm going to put it to you one more time. All the women in the world need to be saved from themselves. They will get some money and Serena Williams they face. This is what they need. I know, look, I was around a woman as soon as she got away from me. Next time I saw her, her face looked like... <laughs> Two little gangbanger squirrels was pulling her skin back. <laughs> like a dog had a growth spurt. Like they had the scabbage patch. Grew up. <laughs> right. oh. I couldn't save her. I wasn't around her no more. She went out there and destroyed her face. But I'm saying, if you got a girl who speaks more than 20 words to other people, that's not your woman. What are you doing talking to people for? What you do? You got a friend. I want to meet your friend. Show me y'all text strand right now. Y'all motherfuckers don't be thinking of that shit. Whenever a girl say, this is my friend. Let me see your text strand with that person right now. Don't erase nothing. And then I'd be like, Let me see it. <laughs> like, oh my God. Ain't your motherfucking friend. Especially if it's a man. He tried to get that pussy. If you didn't give it to him, it's because he ain't got enough paper. It ain't got nothing to do with your love for me. God damn it. Yeah, if you got nothing to hide, just go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, what, they say, what, they, what they say go right ahead. there? Somebody gave, somebody gave $50. That's Earlier, Flame up. gave some. Do you want it to say that like that? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I didn't even break that. <laughs> that did sound. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Lash King, Sniz TV. Greetings, 5150 family. Been rocking with y'all for over 10 years, unapologetically, hilarious, hysterically, I mean, hilariously watching the podcast. Um, I live in Warren Robbins, GA, and I just bought that Irvine, California Spectrum show. Right. And I just sent love donation. Let me get that gear. Get well. Oh, that's <laughs> right, Lash King. Way to do it. You make sure you take care of Lash King. Because he said he, what's the email they go after they, after they buy the ticket to prove that they buy the ticket, they just got to send a picture to what's the email? 5150, uh, C. Holcomb, C. Holcomb 5150 show at How many people in the chat now? Okay, this is why, I, this is what um, he's talking about. Mm. First of all, what's up, angry man? Hey, salute people to the whole 5150 it. crew. What's yeah. up, Craig? What's up, Corey? Yeah. Keep doing the truth. Listen. I said that if you purchase tickets to the show, July 18th, whatever is left, I don't know how many is left, that's why I ain't scared. If you purchase tickets, no matter what city you live in, to the show in Irvine, California, this Thursday, you can have two items out of the store except the shorts and the jersey, because the shorts and the jerseys was way too expensive to produce. But t-shirts, a couple of hats, and the reason I say that because you might it's be from out of town. Doug, and Corey, to so thank you for joining me today in Greensboro, Georgia. I hope you all have a blessed day. Tune in tomorrow. Who knows what I'll be up to? But for now, peace and love.